Hi guys, welcome back. If you are new here, welcome. I'm Chantal Purcell and I've been sharing my experiences through breast cancer, um, different treatments like chemo, bilateral mastectomy, um, radiation, reconstruction, and now I'm actually sharing my post-cancer um, journey through lymphedema. Um, I've actually been suffering with lymphedema for a couple of years now. I've been doing a bunch of different types of treatment um, from, you know, compression therapy, physical therapy, um, all sorts of stuff that we've tried. Um, let me see the wrapping, um, wearing night compression garments, uh, massage, brushing, cupping, um, you name it, we've done it. And uh, so my lymphedema was actually progressing to a stage two. Um, so it was, it was progressing um, and getting worse, but wasn't of course, you know, like a stage three or four. So we're kind of like making our way there. Um, there's no real cure for lymphedema. Um, and I'm talking more about, you know, lymphedema after breast cancer. So it's not uncommon. Thankfully, not everyone gets it and has to deal with that. Or they might get sort of like a, you know, lower degree of lymphedema, like something that you might notice a little heaviness or swelling, but not anything that's really, you know, altering your activities. And um, so mine was definitely altering my activities and my ability to just do things basic like writing or whatever. So my right arm is my primary arm, my dominant arm. And of course, that's the arm with the lymphedema. So um, I'll backtrack a little bit in that, you know, the reason why I had lymph lymphedema probably is because um, we did have about, so I had cancer in um, my lymph nodes and in my breast. So they removed about 28 lymph nodes. So quite a few, quite a lot, you know, from this arm, um, which really compromised its ability to move fluid. Um, also radiation can, um, you know, cause, um, lymphedema, mastectomy actually can cause lymphedema. So any of those things, um, you know, on their own independently could cause some degree of lymphedema. And um, so I did have all of those and there we are. So, um, so I was getting at this, you know, not really like a cure for lymphedema, but I have through self-advocacy and a lot of research, I have found that there are a couple of treatments for lymphedema that can help certain people. Not everyone maybe is a candidate, um, but in my situation, being stage two, um, given that it wasn't too bad, um, it hadn't gone, you know, kind of beyond the point of being able to get in and see um, what's going on. So what we did is um, they actually did a form of liposuction um, under the elbow, kind of between the elbow and the underarm to remove a lot of that fluid bulk buildup. Um, from the fluid that just couldn't move through my body and just kind of got stuck there and I think it was there in a place down lower on my arm that they removed some of that um, lymph I guess you would say and uh, then we actually did a lymph let me see lymph lymphovenous lymphovenous uh, bypass surgery. So forgive me, I am not a doctor. I feel like I've kind of earned my PhD through this though. So a lymphovena, lymphovenous bypass. And what that is, is if they can find kind of like healthy veins um, existing, you know, in the limb um, that could possibly be used to bypass what they refer to kind of as like a traffic jam. So I had kind of like a traffic jam down here, one here. And so they were able to take um, good veins from here, connect it there, and to use those to move lymphatic fluid, which is amazing. I mean, like the technology is just incredible. So um, we weren't sure if I was going to be a candidate, if I was going to be able to have clear um, a pathway. And so they have to do a sort of like a mapping with dye um, to really show and highlight that uh, lymphatic system before um, they can go in and do the lymphovenous bypass. And so they did the uh, mapping, they determined that I was, in fact, you know, there were some pathways there and they were able to successfully do three bypasses, um, which is amazing. So I woke up from surgery and this is kind of where it takes a little turn right now. We are about 24 hours and um, something happened that is like unexplainable, um, not common. We've never seen this before. Um, I can't actually lift my arm. So I have paralysis um, in my bicep for sure, 
some other little muscles around the area. So um, my arm is fully wrapped. I can move my fingers and my hand and my wrist. I can move my shoulder and I can straighten my elbow, um, but I cannot lift my arm. I can't hold my arm up. Like it is completely dead weight. And when I say dead weight, like it actually feels this legit, like it feels like my arm is in a bucket of concrete cement. Um, it's so heavy. Um, and I have some numbness in my thumb and my forefinger and kind of like that L shape. It's um, very numb. It almost feels like circulation kind of issue. So um, this is not part of the program. It just happened. We are trying to figure out why we've, you know, brought in like neurologist and everything. So um, it's possible it could have something to do with positioning of my arm when I was in surgery for like three something hours. Um, so we don't know, but we are seeking answers we might not get. It might be a waiting game to see if this wakes up. So um, I am here to share my experiences, good, bad, whatever. And uh, this was part of my experience. So it's um, something I'm learning to navigate uh, just in the last 24 hours, you know, functioning with one hand, my left hand, which is not my dominant hand, but um, I'm doing pretty well. And I can move this one to kind of get it in place. Like if I needed to say, like if I needed to get it to hold something, I can get it to hold something while I do something over here. So I have some strength, um, although these two fingers are really numb, but I can control them. Um, so I've got a little strength there, so I can use the fingers. I just have to manually position the arm. Um, so that is where we are right now. I will do my best to keep you updated. Um, you know, I know there's a lot of questions surrounding lymphedema and lymphedema surgeries. Um, there is one other surgery that I didn't have um, for lymphedema. So they can do the liposuction to remove the bulk and heaviness. They can do the um, lymphovenous bypass if you're a candidate and have a clear pathway. And then the other third option is a um, lymph node transfer that they would actually harvest lymph nodes, healthy lymph nodes from a donor site, say like in your abdomen or your groin, that they would take that tissue and place it in the area that's compromised and let those healthy um, lymph nodes kind of like start product, uh, production so that it can, in essence, just start moving the fluid. So um, those are the three options. And um, I am I am excited that we got to do the three. I'm grateful that we got to do the three bypasses. Little bummed out and have, you know, I have my moments every now and then um, about the paralysis. We're just gonna have to figure out what that is, how long that's gonna last. If it's, you know, gone tomorrow, gone three months from now, they've talked about this being a potential like long-term. Um, so we'll see how that all goes. Um, so, you know, I always say, live your best life despite your circumstances. And, um, you know, one of my favorite scriptures that's come up in conversation really a lot in the last 24 hours, and it came up a lot when I was in treatment, is um, that whole, like, having peace that surpasses all understanding. It's like Philippians something or other. Um, if you're interested, send me a message in the comments, and I'll let you know what the scripture is. But that scripture has gotten me through so many hard times because... I really do truly have peace through, you know, it's like I know that it'll all be okay no matter what and how you do, uh, define okay. Um, it'll all be okay. I'll be okay. We'll figure it out. Um, I'm already learning how to navigate life with one arm and um, haven't figured out hair and makeup yet. Sorry. So um, it's, it's all natural doing, I literally didn't even brush my hair. I'm like looking at myself here, but a um, little finger comb, not too bad. We do a little, little judging kind of thing. So, um, Hey, I got to find some humor in all of this, but, uh, but yeah, so despite our circumstances, we can still find uh, peace and gratitude and, you know, life is happening in the process of all of these moments, even the icky ones. So, um, just really trying to, to let those slip by. I have made some amazing contacts with my care team 
and um, having just like really amazing, deep, wonderful conversations about life, um, you know, with people that I otherwise wouldn't have met. So, um, yeah, it's, it's been an interesting um, experience. So I will continue to share and show up and answer your questions as best I can. And until next time, let's all just, you know, live our best life despite our circumstances. I love you guys.